All right, here we go. Now, I think that was a new cutscene to uh, Final Mix because I don't remember that cutscene for one and for two. I definitely would remember the card guy, which I don't. But yeah, because he was in Chain of Memories. It's gone! Oh yeah, Mulan! Mulan's the first actual world. That's what it is. Let's do that. Oh my god, yes, I can do Gummy Ship Mission! Thank you! I love these Gummy Ship Missions because they remind me of the old school arcades. Alright. We're not going to Gummy Edit um, ourselves for right now at least. I'll do that like off screen because that takes way too long for me to do. Gummy ship time. Right, pop up Chip and Dale on the screens. I wish I could import my gummy ship from the first one. Start. Chip. And Dale. Alright, let's do this. You guys ready for the first gummy ship mission? I'm happy. I love these things so much. Although many people don't like them and think it was a weird part of Kingdom Hearts. I love these. It was a nice little side mission. Also, it added variety to the game. That's what a lot of games do is they add in little mini games or something like that to give variety so it's not the same repeat stuff. Because if you think about Kingdom Hearts, it's the same exact game. All you do is hop into an area and just murder shit, try to collect items, and try to get to the objective. Many games are like that. But then this adds in so much different variety. That. I don't remember how to actually fire normally. Is that just mashing A? There we go. There we go. Alright. Fire, fire, fire. See, like, this was a mass improvement over the first gummy ship missions. Because the first gummy ship missions, of course, as you guys remember, was uh, the hey ass ships pop up on your screen, and that's it. This, you actually travel what like in between asteroids and worlds and just murder, murder, murder with all these different terrain elements and all these different ships and just it gets so much better. I love it. Like this in 3D would be awesome. Destroy that guy, destroy that. Yes, okay, cool. And I missed the guy. Damn it. And these guys are shielded from the front, but weak on the back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. God damn it, that guy. No wait, I got him. And we're good there. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Red guy, red guy. Got him. Got all these guys. Red guy. Got him. He's down. Go guy, go guy. Dang it. Yes, I got him, I think. I think I got him. I'm not sure. He flashed too fast for me to actually be able to tell 100%. But I think that item that appeared meant that I got him. Red guys, red guys. He's down. He's down. Okay. Go guy, go guy. Got him. See, of course, like as you guys know in any type of different uh, shooting game, the awkward colored guys are typically the ones who are worth the most. So if you see like a red guy, a gold guy, aim for them. They have the most uh they have the best treasures or the most points. Or it signifies another rank. Oh my god. Look how much more diverse this is as compared to the first game. It's just like, ah, I love this. It's actually adventurous. For all those guys. Ow. Okay. Meteors are giving me a little bit of a problem. There we go. I definitely upgraded the ship, though. I need better guns. Hopefully I got a ship. I should have got the high wind 2 on that one. Didn't I? Yep, level one blueprint. Oh, okay, close enough. Falcon level one. Middle level 15, hell yeah. Sweet. And a mass soda. Sad day. Well, there's still more in the fridge if I actually want to go and get some, but I'm okay for right now. Yay, we get to go to Mulan! It's the Mushu! All right. Now this, as I recall, this area, it's fun, but it was also one of those ones that dragged on for quite a while. It's I, it's what I feel like, at least 
right now at least, because I, I can't really remember all the worlds. But it's what I felt like was one of the longest worlds to do. But it's the first world because it's very introductory. I still need to see the second Mulan. Genghis Khan. <laughs> See that Mulan? It's Shan Yu, leader of Shan the Hun Army. Whatever, close enough. Genghis Khan, Shan Yu, basically some guy. Big chance. I can see it now. Fa Mulan, whoops, <coughs> public enemy number one. You're gonna be famous. I'm talking A-list. Mushu, I'm not sure. I'm talking A-list. I haven't even joined the army yet. See, that's one of the things I, I like about the voice actor creating that voice. Is not the well, it was. Honor. I just hope I, I don't never get remember discovered. It. Whatever, you're just scared. Admit it. Aren't you? I'm scared. I can't remember who that was. Because I don't want to be racial, but it's one of these three specific actors, Whoa. and I don't remember which one it is. It's not, is it Eddie Murphy? No, not Eddie Murphy. No, it is Let's Eddie Murphy, isn't it? Gorge. Maybe I don't think it's him in this game, but it is him originally. But I like the voice cracks that he does. As a voice actor, it's, it sounds... It's a good, it adds a good character to his voice. Who's you? Is that Mushu? That's right. I know you heard of me. I'm little, lethal, and legendary. Now y'all scram before I get my dragon dander up. Hey, Mushu. <laughs> we missed you. Yeah, well, you better hope I miss you, or else you're... You're... Sora, Sora Donald, Donald, Goofy! Do you know them? Know them? Man, we used to kick all kinds of bad guy butt together. <laughs> yeah, you know I help these guys out of a lot of tight spots. Because I'm a mighty dragon, right? Definitely not the original voice actor, but hey, he does actually a pretty good job. Something like that. And you are? I'm Mulan. Um, <clears throat> no, uh, I, I, I mean, Ping. Mulan Ping. Just Ping. I am Ping, son of Fazu. You know Mushu? Mushu's <laughs> one of my family's guardians. We didn't know we were borrowing somebody as important as a family guardian. Well, it didn't really matter yeah, the time. Milan's right. world has already been devoured and that puts at that you point. Three up to your eyeballs and dead to Ping here. Well, guess what, kiddies? It's payback time. Hey, Ping was dead at the time, all right? Ah, they don't mind. Ain't that right? Hmm, sounds fair. Because in the first game... Was just on his oh. way to join the Imperial Army. We gotta go find the other recruits over at the training camp. So yeah, in the first game, actually, every single summon that you had was basically someone who already lost the world. And they ended up becoming your summon because they had a pure enough heart that they were able to live on. Mushu was one of those people. Same thing with Simba, Genie, and so on and so forth. You're a girl? You didn't notice? Not me. I think it's working. I love Mulan. Those two Good would movie. fall for anything. Let's get down to business right to defeat the Hun. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? You're the saddest bunch I've ever met. And you can bet before we're through. Mr. Al, make a man out of you. Okay, I don't want Mulan. Oh, I have to have Mulan in my party. Donald has uh, healing, so I'm going to keep him in the party. However, Sora did get new abilities, which I cannot spin currently. Great. All right. Um, items. Do I have any AP pluses? Stock. AP, AP. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. How about ping? What do you got here? You don't got shit. All right. Donald doesn't really have anything. Do I have any, like, shit to give him? No. Um, I remember someone saying that they hated the Star Seeker. Um, sorry, I don't remember who commented that. I saw that, though. Um, yeah, it's... I don't know, I never really used weapons too much just as, like, oh, hey, yeah, I like the way this one looks. I like the way it's basically whichever one's most powerful I use. I didn't put any on specifically because this one has combo plus, this one has this. Just whichever one has the highest uh, attack. Yeah, I know, party commands. And with, uh, I just remembered Mulan's party command. Oh, god damn it, Red Rocket. You guys are wondering why I'm saying Red Rocket. That is our party command name. Oh my god, and if you guys don't know what Red Rocket is, please don't Google it. <laughs> Alright, let's pop this open. Ether. Mithril Shad! 
So it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be uh, just like Kingdom Hearts 1 where they dump synthesis items absolutely everywhere. Okay, so let's talk to you. Bye. Okay, so I can buy actually quite a bit here. Okay. An Abyss Chain, um, that would be nice to have, but how much is it? 250? I only have 430. I think I'm okay for now. Thing is, typically with these games, um, whenever you buy shit at the place, like, just right out there, uh, they typically have in chests around the, around the map. So, t really is no point in buying anything. At least any, uh, guards or anything, unless you just want extra. Okay, walk knee knocked. About time we got some grub. Hey, no cutting. <laughs> wow, cheap shot. Back off. Oh, well, hello. Dude, Donald, Donald, we're in freaking ancient China. They eat people like you. I wonder what they're serving for lunch today. Naka sandwiches. Donald, they eat duck for a living. Stop it. I know where is duck more prominent? That's actually somewhere that that's actually what I'm kind of thinking of. Where's duck more prominent? Is it pro more prominent in China or is it more prominent here in the U.S.? Because we hardly ever have duck. I've had duck once before. Please, but a girl. Knock it off. Knock it off. You punched me. What a shrimp! What, who you calling a shrimp? Hand and lips. I'm a bona fide guardian dragon. L let's just get back in line, okay? Whose side are you on? I just got slugged. Want some more? Soldiers. I'll give you another black out of match line. yours. The captain. Okay, you can't have a girl in your army, but you can have a fucking duck and a dog. He doesn't question any of that. There's a duck in your army. Question it. Uh, what are they? Heartless. How could oh, be so yeah. heartless? In the night, hear me. I hope you're ready. Whole story ever told. And we're far along the road. I should show to a woman so heartless. Oh, this is what I hate. I hate these morale contests. It, it was one of the most stupid things that Kingdom Hearts actually added was basically keep you fighting the entire time. Make sure that nobody else ends up uh, killing shit. It keeps you in battle and keeps you in check because I don't know why they needed to make sure you did that by adding these morale balls. So you have to go and collect those to end up keeping alive. Because if you lose morale, you lose the contest. Which I guess in some sense it makes sense. If you lose morale, it means basically you're depressed. Therefore, you lose your heart. But still, I, I don't like that. Also in this game, I found out that you actually become Mickey if you end up losing a boss battle. Well, some boss battles, very specific ones, um, which I never knew. I was playing when I was playing with my friend uh, Andrea. She was running through Kingdom Hearts 2, and not not in 2.5, but the original T1 thing. She ended up losing a boss battle, which I never lost before, and became Mickey. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I didn't know you become Mickey. Battling skills are encouraging. I am the son of Fazo, and you should return home. What? But, but, this will dishonor my family. You'd rather dishonor my troops? Don't make me... If Ping trains hard and does his best, we'll get stronger in no time. Hmm. Just give us an assignment. We'll show you how well we can work together. So you want to be tested. Our orders are to ambush Shen Yu's army on their way here. They should. Oh well, uh, I don't know why my mind just went blank there. Wow, they should be coming coming through the pa mountain pass. My God, I can't talk now. I think I just had a stroke. We'll smash him. I doubt that your power will be your. Oh, you four. Wow, what is wrong with me? I said Thower? I said you four will be the advance party. What the fuck is wrong with me? Scout out the mountain for my troops. I said Thower. What the fuck is a Thower? That's it? No problem. I couldn't recognize the word four. What the fuck's wrong with me? Right. Right. 
I'll brief you on details later. Return when you're ready to depart. Remember, the smallest mission may have the greatest purpose. Stay alert. Sir. Sir, sir, sir. All right. Encampment area map. All right. Cool. Mushu! Yay!